your mission is to watch this video to the end subscribe to this channel like and share it do you accept please accept please accept hi guys welcome to my channel i'm tayo aka misty welcome to my channel welcome if you are new welcome back if you are not new please subscribe to my channel if you haven't like this video share it with your friends and leave a comment in the comment section um also i have a blog on wordpress the link will be on the screen and also in my description box so um today i'm going to be talking about mission impossible dead reckoning part one i know i'm late there are a lot of reviews already out but better late than never <laughs> so mission impossible dead reckoning part one is a 2023 american spy action film it is the seventh installment in the mission impossible film series and the direct secret to this movie mission impossible dead reckoning part two it's set to be released next year on june 28 2024 okay so let's get into the story so um in this movie an AI, it went rogue and it lost control and it like destroyed a submarine and killed everybody in it. So the IMF, they called their agent, our favorite IMF agent, Ethan Hunt, um, is given the mission to retrieve a, a key. It's a, half of a cruciform key and it is said that the person that possesses this the two half of the key can control the ai so um and the half was with Ilsa, um which is a friend of his like the relationship is somehow so <laughs> the key was with Ilsa, and he had to go to her before other people get to her because there was already a bounty on her head because most time she and ethan they are always on opposing team somehow even though they are friends but anyway um the u.s government were looking for her and other people too were looking for her to get the key so he can he had to go there first so anyway he gets there he successfully gets the half of the key so then he is back in the u.s and um he infiltrates a meeting of the u.s intelligence community so in this meeting he questioned the director of the cia eugene kittridge and um kittridge explains like the level of danger that is to come if they don't get that ai under control or if they don't get the control of the ai because um he said the ai was like invented by the government has like a secret spy to go and like disarm um weapons without the enemy even knowing but now the ai it went rogue and it evolved itself and i think it's even evolving more and more and um it's very dangerous like it's it can make things appear that are not there like in the beginning, we see how uh, it made the people in the submarine to like hit themselves because they thought an enemy vessel was coming towards them, so they fired. But it turned out there was nothing, and what they fired, it now brought it back to them. They could not stop it, so the AI like it makes you question reality. Like it's so powerful and dangerous, so um. Yeah, Ethan finds out more and he and his team, they decide to go on the mission to get the other half of the key and to figure out how to control the AI. So do they succeed? Watch the movie to find out. This movie is very good, very entertaining. Like it checks all the boxes of what we expect from a Mission Impossible movie. Action, check. Car chase, check. Fights, one-on-one -on -one battles, check. Ethan 
hunt going rogue and disobeying others check he done running on foot check everything is just awesome and um yeah like the other um mission impossible movies this one has a strong team of friendship of teamwork yeah so um you see how uh, Ethan and his team they work together like they brought the returning characters like um Benji and Luther and Issa yeah they are back and um even White Widow she's back and there are some new characters like Grace like the villain in this movie Gabriel um yeah they did well they acted well so um there's a good chemistry of the characters on screen and yeah Ethan and Issa I don't know why they are always on opposing team because they work well together so um yeah the action in this movie is mind-blowing is out of this world and like there's one scene where um he turned us to like ride on a motorcycle out um down to a huge cliff it was so scary but um it did yeah that was a major scene in this movie and i'm so glad the cast and crew that Tom cruise they worked hard and they put the stunts off despite Tom cruise age like that just shows that it's good and um also the director christopher mcquery i think he has been the one directing all the mission impossible movies is so good and they brought the whole story together and um yeah the movie is amazing it's an awesome experience and it will keep you glued to your seats and wanting more um yeah it's just that the it's one half so the other half is coming out next year which <sighs> is a long time but hopefully it flies by and the dead recording part two comes out um yeah overall this first half is so good and i hope the second half is as good as this or even better because i can't imagine like oh so good um yeah also in this movie the there's a bit of comic relief sprinkled throughout and um cast they are so good like the comic relief they didn't have to say a funny line or something but the way they did it like their body language their facial expressions you'll be able to see the comedy there and you will have like a few laughs here and there in the movie which is good it's a good relief from all the breathtaking actions and the um, twist and turns and everything yeah so um that's it for this video um mission impossible dead reckoning have you seen it are you going to see it um as for me i'll give this movie hands down 10 out of 10. will i watch it again definitely um something i really enjoy i like action movies also and um yeah that's it um please if you have gotten to this point and you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe to my channel like this video and i'll see you in the next one bye